gonna run a um, auto optimize on a uh, my my model DB36, adding two additional elements: an additional reflector and an additional director. Additional director is gonna be about 50 inches in position up the boom from the rearward most portion of the boom, and the additional director um, is gonna be here about 100. And 99 inches um, up the boom from the rearward most position and then these two elements here are the existing uh, 255 inches the existing parasitic and this is the forward most EHU director and down here under variables I just plugged in some basic numbers uh, for reflector length director or driven length director one, director, you know, two, three, four, and five, and then position uh, for the two additional elements, 50 inches, 199 inches up. So we're going to here, set optimize. We're just going to select all. We're going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit start. And now it's starting to calculate. And you'll see here what it's doing to the pattern as it's going through and calculating the various dimensions. And uh, we can look over here and see Live data was doing SWR. It's computing weights on various parameters. Over here is SWR, maximum gain, uh, front to back ratio, and uh, it's kind of cool to watch it work <clears throat> and sit here and compute based upon my weights. What is the ideal position and lengths of the elements? And it looks like it did 252 trials. This is the pattern it came out with. And here are the uh, dimensions it started with and dimensions it ended up with. And uh, so we ended up with a starting SWR 1.69 to 1, ended up 100, uh, forward gain 15.6, uh, front to back about 26 uh, dB, and the dimensions compared to um, what I started with and what I ended up with. Let me make this a little longer here. Let me scoot this out. So you can see the position is close on everything, but this is ideal. So instead of 59 inches on the reflector, it should be 57,763. And the uh, driven element instead of 57 should be 57,74. Um, and then um, the first director, uh, second director, or first, second, third, uh, fourth director, and then uh, positions. Instead of being at 50 inches up from the boom, should be at 53, and then instead of 199 inches up the boom, should be at 204. So my positions were really close, but this just makes it super easy. It does it just adds various values and tests it and sees what it can achieve um, for your test frequency. In this case, 50.125 megahertz, and this is what the pattern will look like. Um, and now with those dimensions, we can go over here to calculate. And I can hit calculate all rows, and now it's calculating uh, gain, SWR, front to back, everything for this various test frequencies from 50 to 50.5. And here's the value. And then we can go over here, uh, plot 3D, and we can show a 3D plot of the antenna. Um, and this is as uh, azimuth gain. Uh, forward gain and the various uh, patterns. Um, we can go under here, let's see here, uh, various patterns, azimuth angle. Um, we can look over here, uh, various plots of uh, RNX, SWR plots, and of course your RNX and complex impedance. Uh, we have a Smith chart we can look at. And then uh, we can set all kinds of various parameters if we want to look at. And then, of course, antenna currents and then all the various elements. Uh, we can look at the currents of each wire. So you can see if there's anything odd going on with the, the currents and the wires. So this is the uh, Auto Easy plugin for Easy Nick. In this case, you're running Auto uh, Easy Nick Pro uh, 7.02. And uh, it's uh, pretty darn cool. This is just day number two of playing with it, so I got a lot to, a lot to learn. But so far, it's um, I'm uh, I think I found a new rabbit hole to to fall into.